Hello and welcome to this week's Kit Plus TV News, supported by OpenGear, the industry standard platform of choice for modular signal processing. Yeah, today's show is focusing in on IBC, which is taking place in Amsterdam, 15th to 18th of September. If you want to see how plans for the show are shaping up, then check out our recent interview with the event organisers. The link is in the top right corner now. So let's get in the mood for IBC with LiveView, who will be showcasing their latest live video workflows and collaborations in contribution, production and distribution across sports, news and other live productions. These include its flexible remote and on-site production solutions using IP bonding and cloud workflows to replace traditional production hurdles with easy to use, high quality and low cost solutions. LiveView's latest integrations will be demonstrated with other leading technologies encompassing 5G, cloud and AI. Making its IBC debut this year is CarX Impulse One IP audio processing and routing engine. It's designed as a powerful and cost-effective ST2110 solution for single console scenarios, joining the multi-console industry established Impulse. Announced earlier this year, Impulse One is a compact one-use solution with an optional second core for redundancy and a new 128 input channel DSP pack offering entry-level pricing. Media Proxy is bringing its full range of products back to Amsterdam. This includes the Monwall hybrid multi-panel for monitoring by exception and the flagship log server logging and analysis system. Conforming to leading standards, including SUMPTI ST2110, MMOS and SCUTI for dynamic ad insertion, this multi-featured software package continues to evolve and respond to the changing demands of linear broadcasters and streaming services alike. Globecast will be highlighting the latest advances to its cloud strategy, benefiting both customers and SaaS providers. Most of Globecast's customers are considering moving to the cloud or to a hybrid solution of cloud and on-premise. And with the release of its newly announced Cloud Media Hub, Globecast is combining its decades of understanding of live and on-demand content distribution, acquisition, distribution and delivery with its extensive range of cloud processing capabilities. Now, for the first time, Farmer's Wife will be showcasing uh, version 7 of the Farmer's Wife tool and the new features of the Circus Project Management Solution. You can find them on stand 6A23. Version 7 of the Farmer's Wife tool has incorporated several new features to make workflow management and collaboration easier, including dark mode, QR code, sync mode, advanced project search. Circus also includes new features that improve the process of scheduling, assigning and managing projects across an organization and with external contractors. Trade Fair will be hosting the Great Britain and Northern Ireland group, featuring 33 leading UK companies on pavilions in halls 1, 6, 7, 8, and independently in halls 5 and 10. Exhibitors span the complete spectrum of products and services, reflecting the challenges and opportunities that the worldwide media industry faces today, and highlight the UK's strength in the global media technology landscape. And a fine place to go for a good cup of tea. Proper cup of tea. Synergy will be emphasising that today's media solutions must reflect environmental concerns while retaining rich functionality. Drawing on the benefits of its partnership with Supermicro, Synergy will be running a staggering 256 channels of HD playout using Synergy Air software for the single 4RU server. With a power consumption of around 1500 watts, that equates to consumption of less than 6 watts for each complete playout channel. A huge reduction in carbon footprint. What we're really looking forward to seeing, though, is the way Synergy is delivering huge performance in a compact form in the Micro OB van demonstration. It's a complete four-camera broadcast system fitted in the trunk of a Micro Lino car. I don't know what a Micro Lino car is, but I'm guessing it's small. Micro, Micro Lino. Micro Lino, yeah. Don't know. We we'll see, we'll find out we when we're see. there. We'll let you know. <laughs> Tag Video Systems is set to introduce the European introduce the European market to an enriched version of its real-time media performance monitoring and visualization platform. New enhancements include heightened integration with Skyline Communications Data Miner for more concentrated content insights and management capabilities. Visitors will also see the first official introduction to TAG's groundbreaking content matching technology that automatically and accurately identifies and compares the content throughout the workflow, adding another layer of confidence to users of the platform. Find them in Hall 1, stand C15. Yeah, normally very easy to find tag with their big massive screen. great big screens, yeah. 
Roden Schwartz will be demonstrating how network operators and content providers can leverage 5G broadcast technology for new business opportunities at IBC. They will demonstrate the latest technology developments and provide answers on how network operators and content distributors can increase their reach and target new customer groups. RNS TH1, the latest software defined transmitter, will be on display and showcases agile support across a wide range of formats, including the rapidly emerging 5G broadcast. Importantly, the, RS, uh, the RNS TH1 provides lower energy consumption and shapes a more sustainable future. Glensan will be displaying new additions to its range of Dante products, ensuring that the company maintains its leadership in bespoke solutions for the interpretation and commentary sectors. IBC will see the first international showing of the completely new Charles Interpreter Unit, which adds networked audio to this important product category. It's designed to precisely cater for the needs of a single translator, whilst providing significant redundancy for power and Ethernet to ensure the message is delivered. Yeah, we always go and see the team at Glensound, don't we? So we'll make sure we see Charles so next time. We'll catch up with Charles. Yeah. Visitors will see how Next Edition presents a completely integrated approach to live production and delivery while allowing users to access third-party functionality like craft editing and adding AI tools where appropriate. Running on COTS hardware or in the cloud, their solutions are widely used in newsrooms where the challenge is to react quickly and accurately to the stories as they develop. The technology provides all the support journalists and editors need, giving them powerful authoring and archive research tools and automating repetitive tasks. Exhibiting for the first time at the show with Next Edition is BST Devices, and they will be demonstrating their Cam Ace pan and tilt head, which achieves a remarkable resolution and repeatability of 0.8 arc seconds with zero backlash, making for precise on-air moves. It's radical design with direct drive servos, only one moving part per axis and high damping, makes for virtually silent operation and very high reliabil reliability. Ideal for critical operations like new studios. Yeah, hopefully we'll be seeing that at the show. Whitby will showcase its powerful automated test and proactive monitoring technology. You can find them on stand 5D76, uh, where the company will demonstrate the benefits of its products and services to streaming and broadband video service providers looking to measure the true quality of experience that their customers receive. Highlights in Amsterdam will include the company's new Smart Navigate AI algorithm, an enhanced script writer feature, which was recently added to Workbench, Whitby's software for scripting and maintaining automated test scenarios. EditShare is set to introduce EditShare One as its unifying user experience at IBC. EditShare One gives a single streamlined experience across all of the company's high performance production, asset management and media storage solutions, boosting productivity by simplifying interactions with an intuitive user experience at every stage of the creative process. Initial applications include producer view for assigning tasks and delivering comments and feedback to the production team, making collaboration simple, even across multiple locations. And you can always spot a member of the edit share team at a trade show. Uh, you can. Orange trainers. Yeah, orange trainers. And we're going to do better than them this time. We're going to try and trump them on the footwear. Stuff. So do keep yeah. an eye on the Kit Plus uh, staff feet this year at the show. <laughs> so that's Maybe it not. for the IBC news today. There are literally hundreds of press releases added each week in the Kit Plus press room. So do check out kitplus.com forward slash news for all the latest news from both the wider industry and more focused on the upcoming IBC show, which is in Amsterdam, 5th to 18th of September. That's it for this week. We'll see you next time.